So the next concept is the reflection coefficient. See what is meant by reflection coefficient? I think you might have known about reflection coefficient. So when the reflection takes place, okay, I think you have some idea about the reflection coefficient. Okay, so when the reflection coefficient, when the reflection takes place means if you take any electrical circuit, so the, re the reflection takes place if and only if, if there is no the matching between the load to the source. So from the maximum power transfer theorem we can say that for the electrical circuits the maximum power will be delivered from the load to source so from the source to load if and only if the load is equal to the source. If ZL is equals to Z0 if ZL is equal to R sorry this is RL is equals to RS then only the maximum power will be transferred from the source to load okay so this is the maximum power transfer serum that means he is saying that the load and the source must be matched so then only the power will be transferred from the source to load similarly if you go to the em waves concept also the plane waves concept uniform plane waves also if there are two mediums side by side eta 1 and eta 2 or epsilon 1 and epsilon 2 so if there is a mismatch between these two mediums that means if the two mediums are side by side and the em wave is transferring from one medium to another medium what happens so because of this eta 1 and eta 2 are not equal some portion of energy will be reflected back okay so it is because of the mismatch between the two mediums if eta 1 and eta 2 are equal then there will not be any reflection so eta 1 and eta 2 are equal means what they are they are showing that same area they, they are showing that the, they are the same medium okay so they are same medium means so there will not be any reflection okay so we cannot get we cannot get if the two mediums are side by side means we cannot get the same medium we cannot get the same characteristics of this but if you can adjust the second medium also equal to this automatically you can you can get the maximum power in the second medium also so you have to take such a medium so that the total power will be captured in this medium okay so in such a way you have to select this kind of medium second medium similarly if you come to the uh, transmission lines concept in the transmission line concept okay so the load and source will be there the load will be there and the source will be there see this is the source it is the line and here is the load load is there let us suppose this is the length l it is zl it is x equals to 0 it is x equals to l it is having some characteristic impedance z naught it is vs okay so here if the load is not equivalent to the characteristic impedance so i shouldn't say before this so we know we will be having some v of x and i of x on this lines the voltage wave and the current waves will be produced on this okay so already yesterday we have seen how the vi waves and uh, VI waves are generated on the line. Okay, we have seen V of X and I of X expressions. So, if you rearrange that expressions, we will be having the the voltage waveform V of X is equals to V naught into E power gamma X. Okay, plus I am taking this V one as by rearranging the equation, I am taking the entire constant as some V naught. V naught e power gamma x plus V naught into ZL minus Z naught divided by ZL plus Z naught into e power minus gamma x. Already we know what is gamma? Gamma is equals to alpha plus J beta. It is a propagation constant. 
what it is saying what is this expression is saying actually so this is the v of x it is the voltage wave at any distance at any x from the load at any x from the from the load it is x equals to 0 at x equals to 1 x equals to 10 x equals to 100 so this is what the at any x v of any x so if you clearly observe this above expression observe this always if the wave is coming from here to here automatically there will be the amplitude will be decayed exponentially suppose if we start from here let us suppose this is the source is presenting so if the source is there automatically if you take em wave or a vi wave what happens here you will get a maximum amplitude and after that as you move along this automatically it will be what happens reflected sorry it will be the amplitude will be decayed the amplitude will be decayed why i am taking this sign sorted only because these are all the harmonics harmonic quantities so as we move away from this source automatically they will be decayed exponentially we have to note this there will not be any increase increment in that there will not be any exponential rise waves because automatic is a common thing it is a common sense that because we are generating here we are we are trying to move, send this em waves to far distance automatically after some distance the amplitudes will be decayed as we move along the length of the line so if the if the wave is traveling in this direction what happens so the automatically the waves will be having the exponential decay in the amplitude so now what happens if you observe this question see it is called as what let us suppose this the source is like this it is the source it is called as it is positive x directed wave it is called as a negative x directed wave let us suppose i am here at x equals to something it is a positive x directed wave or a negative x directed wave similarly if you come to this i am here what is this it is the x increasing direction observe this it is x increasing direction but it is x equals to 0 in the first starting itself i have taken this assumption it is x equals to 0 it is x increasing direction means it is plus x direction what about this it is a negative x direction so you have to notice this thing if you notice this thing automatically it will be very easy so this is the positive x direction don't think that this is the positive x direction this is for some other case okay so if you understand this what the waves will get exponential decay in the amplitude as they move along the as they travel along the length of the line if you know that so no need to remember this no need to draw this so from this x equals 0 to x equals l it is a positive x direction it is negative x direction so that means we got the VF, vfx and ifx values so the vfx value is this so if you know this if you know this see if you observe this expression it is having e power gamma x so e power gamma x means which kind of see it must be exponential decay and it is also exponential decay both must be exponential decay it is having a two waves it must be exponential decay it must be exponential decay it is exponential decay if and only if the x is positive it is exponential decay if and only if the x is negative you should note that okay so this will be exponential decay if it is positive it will be exponential decay if the x is a negative so that means you can say that this represents the positive x directed wave this is called as the positive x directed wave this entire value it is a plus x directed wave 
this is called as a negative x directed wave so what is a positive x directed wave and negative vectors x directed wave so if you take the positive this one first negative x directed wave means what this is the direction it it represents from the source to load what is the positive x directed wave the positive x directed wave shows from this to load to source so this is the thing you should know understand so these are the what the actually this v of x representing means it is having two waves on the transmission line consisting of two waves traveling in opposite directions one is negative x directed wave one is positive x directed wave and this negative x directed wave is called as the forward wave it is a forward wave right and what is the positive x directed wave this positive x directed wave is called as the reflected wave it is reflected from the load okay so this is called as the forward wave it is a reflected wave it is a forward wave okay so if this is clear and the entire analysis is happy so if you know this we can know that this is what it is called as this entire phasor is called as it is a forward wave and this entire is phasor is called as what it is reflected wave right if you clearly observe this so actually it is a main drawback for us so there must not be any reflected wave to reduce the reflected wave to remove that reflected wave we should maintain one condition so this wave must not be happened so this wave must not be happened means either this must be zero or this must be zero or this must be zero because these all are constants this is a constant and this is a source property you cannot make it zero you are removing this means you are removing the source it is not possible so you have to make it zero so while you are making this zero so from this what we can write this is zero this force with zero means if zl equals to z not you will get zl equals to z not concept if zl equals to z not means what happens this entire portion will be vanished so only you will be having a forward wave only you will be having a forward wave if and only if if you put zl is equals to z not until unless you are not maintaining this matching condition zl is equals to z not these two waves will be present on the line so this is the concept you have to notice understand so now there will be some mismatch between the this what this actual line and the load and that mismatch is measured by the coefficient called as the reflection coefficient in general the reflection coefficient is represented with gamma gamma is equals to reflected wave the voltage phasor to the forward phasor what is the voltage pr this entire portion and this portion and it will be equal to this divided by this v not v not get cancel e power minus gamma x so finally you will get zl minus z not divided by zl plus z not into e power minus 2 gamma x so this is called as this is called as the reflection coefficient it is called as the reflection coefficient and it is a function of x it is a function of x so that's why i can represent this one gamma of x gamma of x represents what it is gamma at any x at any x means what at any x distance from the load if x equals to 0 what happens if x equals to 
F equals zero means what? At the load. At the load. So I can write this gamma of gamma of x as gamma of zero is equals to what? It will be zero. So ZL minus Z naught divided by ZL plus Z naught. And some people will represent this one as only gamma. So gamma represent gamma or it is can be written as gamma at the load and some people write this one as gamma okay so this is the thing you have to notice so till now we might have known the gamma means the gamma at the load only whatever you know the expression till now whatever we know the expression is what gamma means zl minus z naught divided by zl plus z naught it represents the reflection coefficient only at the load but the reflection may be at any any place the reflection coefficient may be at any place so at any place it can be represented by this expression now suppose if it is a lossless line then alpha will be zero you can directly write what suppose if you take any lossless line then this will become Suppose for a lossless line, for a lossless line, alpha is equal to 0. This implies gamma is equal to j beta. So from this, gamma at any x is equal to zl minus z0 divided by zl plus z0. What happens? e power minus j 2 beta x so this is the thing you should remember in the way means this will be always asked for the what the lossless line only we won't talk about the loss lossy lines okay so this is what the entire expression so if you observe that so this is representing what it is zl minus z0 divided by zl plus z0. It is just nothing but gamma of 0 or gamma at the load. Okay. So because it is gamma at the load. So we can say that it is for a lossless line. If you take any lossless line, what happens? If you take any lossless line, z0 will be a real value. So zl may be anything. The zl may be anything. It may be a real value or a complex value. In general, the gamma is a complex. This gamma is a complex. So it can be represented in terms of the what? It can be represented in terms of the mod gamma at the load and at an angle theta. Okay, this can be represented in terms of gamma. So now this can be represented as gamma at any x can be represented as mod gamma at an angle theta. I am writing at an angle theta as e power j theta. I can write this mod gamma e power j theta. So this will be equals e power j 2 beta x. So from this I can write mod gamma e power j theta minus 2 beta x. So this is the entire reflection coefficient at any distance x. You can remember this. You have to remember this. Understand? So this is the, what is this gamma? This gamma is representing the gamma at the load. Okay. So now, I hope this is clear. Okay. So now, 